Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I, uh, I am Dr. Fazil Subhan and currently I am working as a lecturer uh, in the Department of Technology, Abbas University, Islamabad campus. Uh, my uh, topic is on uh, based on the optimizing tumor immune cells interaction using nonlinear controls and heuristic approaches. Uh, the presentation technology how to solve uh, that problems, uh, then comparative analysis uh, uh, and con conclusion and future work. Uh, bread tumors are that tumor which is in a uh, small in size localized uh, they cannot uh, move from one part of the body to another part of the body and also uh, less deleterious uh, for uh, different uh, cells in the body uh, while the malignant uh, tumors are in large size non -localized, localized they can move easily from one part of the body uh, to the other part of the body and more deleterious for uh, different types of cells uh, in the body the major category uh, types of cells in a body uh, when having tumor are normal cells, uh, tumor cells, and uh, immune cells. <clears throat> so different types of treatments are available uh, for uh, tumor elimination. Uh, the first one is surgery, uh, then radiotherapy, uh, immunotherapy, chemotherapy, angiotherapy, and hybrid therapies. Uh, surgery is used to remove uh, some part of the body uh, uh, physically, while radiotherapy, in radiotherapy, some uh, types of rays are used. Uh, rays are used to uh, kill the tumor cells. Immunotherapy and chemotherapy is used. Uh, these types of this uh, immunotherapy, chemotherapy, and angiotherapy are the treatment methods uh, by which some type of medicine are given to the patient uh, to uh, kill the tumor cells and also maintain the patient health. While hybrid therapies are the combination of uh, all these uh, types of therapies. Uh, basically, there are three types of treatment uh, available, treatment method available uh, nowadays. The first one is uh, in vivo. Uh, vivo. In vivo method is basically studies within a living organism while in vitro studies performed in the glass. Uh, while the mathematical modeling are the description of system using mathematical concepts. Uh, in, in, vivo, vivo method, in vivo method is very expensive, long and extensive. Uh, based on clinical trials and animal studies, uh, the main uh, uh, pros of this, this method is more specific and reliable for observing biological effects in a test subject. While uh, the problem is that strict regulations and compliance standards uh, must be followed. So uh, in vitro, uh, it is a relatively low cost method, uh, relatively fast uh, on, on organ or chip, uh, microphysiological system, cell based screening, a diagnostic uh, test uh, are including in this type of uh, in this type of treatment. Uh, in the, uh, Main uh, cause of this uh, uh, method is, is relatively simplicity, while the cause is physiologically limited. Uh, the mathematical modeling uh, cost uh, relatively very, but understanding of phenomena may not be a human. Uh, body having tumor, tumor cells, immune cells, their interaction uh, U is for the different uh, uh, researchers work on uh, different types of uh, models. Uh, I discuss only that uh, specific models which are based on these three types of cells or some uh, uh, nearby cells like normal cells, immune cells, tumor cells, effector cells, circulating lymphocytes. Uh, different types of methods are used by these uh, researchers like pulsed chemotherapy, continuous chemotherapy, immunotherapy, uh, some control techniques like uh, uh, optimal control methods, direct collocation methods, uh, maximum principles, quadratic control, uh, and uh, some like uh, optimizing the treatment protocols with using some heuristical techniques like uh, genetic algorithms by com uh, combination of immunotherapy, uh, immunotherapies. Uh, uh, same like that, some uh, advanced method like steepest descent methods for optimality, adaptive controllers for path trajectory are used to kill the tumor cells within a uh, human uh, body while having uh, while maintaining the 
पेशेंट हेल्थ स्टेट ग्रेजुएट मेथड्स आर एडोप्टेबिलिटी कंडीशन आर आल्सो यूज्ड इन द लिटरेचर टू किल द ट्यूबर सेल्स एंड सेव द इम्यून सेल्स एंड नॉर्मल सेल्स ऑफ द बॉडी so uh, if i uh, try to summarize this let, uh, literature available tumor models relate the growth and death rate of normal cells tumor cells and immune cells uh, th- uh, this be that uh, the normal the growth of normal cells and tumor cells if they are uh, uncontrolled uh, then the system uh, will be uh, disturbed so both single and hybrid therapies are used for analysis of tumor treatment based on mathematical models uh, linear quadratic regulator for trigger maximum principle lagrangian non linear programming and tier part methods are used to optimize uh, treatment uh, protocols uh, research gaps uh, where we use different types of uh, treatment with uh, different types of uh, control uh, techniques uh, by using uh, uh, these methods uh, uh, chemotherapy kills the normal cells of the body by which the interruption in chemotherapy uh, is necessary to maintain the patient health in a uh, safe state uh, these all uh, treatments are prolonged treatment even in the presence of hybrid therapies elimination of tumor cells along with boosting of normal cells in immune cells using uh, controllers so problem statement is based on approximate the a tumor model with heuristically tuned basis function and optimize the treatment by hybrid therapies in conjunction with uh, controllers so uh, uh, based on this uh, problem stated some research objectives uh, uh, discuss that design and objective function of the model solve the model with burst in polynomial sub basis function uh, to the coefficients of that uh, burst in polynomial basis function with genetic algorithm at that design the sliding board control is energetic control we that advanced controllers to find the optimal results so methodology uh, it, this work is based on the system models without controller we first discussed that uh, in this uh, model approximated using heuristically tuned basis function objective functions and scenarios and then system model with uh, non linear controller sliding board controller that system model with synergetic controller and system model with conjoint controls so the first model uh, you can see that immunotherapy and chemotherapy are used to uh, control the tumor cells that uh, uh, approximate the model uh, to the parameter of the model and simulate uh, using uh, computer or some so system so the flow chart of this uh, uh, first model is based on uh, first of all we uh, generate some parameters of the bursted polynomial uh, then find fitness uh, sort them and select best of them uh, which is known as tuning uh, then produce offsprings by cross over mutation uh, fit there again fitness sorts and select best if if the result uh, is best and optimal Uh, then uh, we add this algorithm or uh, if uh, good results is not achieved then repeat from off space and uh, crossovers so the first uh, objective function is based on three types of scenarios uh, the first scenario is without hybrid therapy and controller in this uh, the basic or a natural uh, behavior of the uh, normal cells and tumor cells uh, will be shown without chemotherapy and controller uh in this only bureau therapy will be discussed uh that with hybrid therapies and without control uh, this be that that immuno therapy with chemo therapy is used uh, to check the tumor cells uh, behavior and normal cells behavior in the absence of control so you can see that in the first scenario without any type of uh, controller and the treatments uh, the green light uh, here shows the behavior of normal cells uh, which is Decay, it decaying manner with the passage of time while tumor cells are in increasing manner uh, when we add immunotherapy the growth rate of uh, tumor cells uh, uh, are a little slow uh, and also the decay rate of uh, uh, tumor immune normal cells are also uh, a little slow uh, while the immune cells are in uh, good uh, growth then we add chemotherapy chemotherapy is uh, basically of two types the first one continuous dose for a uh, long time uh, uh, with a fixed dose 
and the second continuous dose with uh, an exponentially a growth bearer you can see that in uh, first uh, blue line which is exponentially uh, exponential graph uh, it start a heavy dose of uh, chemotherapy is given to the patient and that tapered out to uh, minimum with the passage of time and when the patient uh, the tumor cells in the patient body is eliminated uh, then there is no need of uh, uh, chemotherapy so uh, based on these uh, two types of chemotherapy uh, uh, we uh, divide uh, we can uh, divide our third scenario to two uh, parts the first scenario 3a uh, this uh, based on fixed uh, dose of chemotherapy uh, for uh, the elimination of tumor cells uh, and uh, Uh, the second one uh, is based on the exponential dose of chemotherapy for the elimination of uh, tumor cells you can see that the fixed dose uh, have also a, a less effect on normal cells and immune cells while the exponential uh, dose of chemotherapy also uh, badly affect the normal cells and immune cells of the body so then we added sliding mode controller with hybrid therapy chemo immunotherapy uh, to kill the tumor cells Uh, and also boost uh, and also control the effect of chemotherapy on normal cells and immune cells that approximate the model to the parameter and simulate our results so this uh, uh, model is based on, also based on three scenarios hybrid therapy with control as tumor cells killer hybrid therapy with uh, smc as tumor cells killers and immune cells booster and the hybrid therapy with smc as tumor cells killers along with uh, immune cells uh and normal cells booster uh, you can see that uh, when we use uh, hybrid therapy uh, with uh, tumor cells killer uh, that uh, uh, the tumor cells uh, eliminated from the body within uh, 70 days by using fixed dose while by exponential dose uh, it's very fast uh, but the effect of chemotherapy also observe on normal cells and uh, immune cells uh, then we boost the uh, 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 immune cells with the help of uh, sliding mode controller you can see that the exponential dose uh, very rapidly boost the uh, immune cells of the body and also kill the tumor cells within uh, 50 days so then we boost both normal cells and immune cells with the help of uh, sliding mode co controller uh, which is proposed as a drug and then uh, and also uh, to kill the tumor cells and you can see that it is a very uh, gives us very good results uh, the immune cells and normal cells are in a good level uh, while the tumor cells are also uh, eliminated with a, a very short time so then we add a surgical controller we use a surgical controller instead of sliding board controller with uh, hybrid therapy chemo immunotherapy and then approximate our model uh, to the that model and uh, simulate the results so this uh, uh, model is based on two scenarios hybrid therapy with surgical controllers as tumor cells killer and second scenario is uh, the comparison of sliding board controller with surgical controller for tumor cells elimination along with the effect of normal cells and immune cells in the first scenario uh, you can see that uh, if we use surgical controller as a drug to kill the tumor cells uh, then it gives us a very good results at uh, 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 totally uh, you can see uh, very rapidly uh, exterminates the tumor cells uh, from the patient body within 5 uh, or 6 days while there is no effect of uh, on where there is no effect of chemotherapy or uh, normal cells and uh, immune cells so this is, is this is the very good result uh, in the second graph scenario what be uh, the chemotherapy uh, the continuous chemotherapy with that exponential uh, continuous chemotherapy uh, with strategic controllers gives us uh, a little uh, weak result Uh, because of uh, the bad effect or the side effect of chemotherapy or normal cells and uh, immune cells uh, are observed while the surgical controllers give a good result to kill the uh, immune uh, tumor cells uh, in, in this in these graphs in the scenario 2a and 2b the, this is uh, based on the uh, hybrid controllers uh, this is based on the comparison of sliding board controller with surgical controller 
along with hybrid therapies. So you can see uh, in scenario 2A, uh, synergetic control kills the tumor cells within uh, five uh, or six days, while sliding board control results a little slow. Uh, it kills the tumor cells uh, within 70 days, uh, while there is a, a very uh, low effect observed uh, on uh, normal cells and uh, immune cells uh, due to chemotherapy. Uh, in the scenario 2B, uh, you can see the side effect of chemotherapy on normal cells and immune cells, uh, while uh, the remaining two, the tumor cells effect, uh, synergetic effect on tumor uh, cells are same as scenario 2A, uh, while the 2B, uh, while the uh, effect of sliding board control is a, a little good as compared to 2A. Then we uh, then they move to uh, hybrid therapy along with conjoint controllers. In this model, hybrid therapy uh, is used to uh, kill the tumor cells uh, and also uh, uh, to save the immune and normal cells along with the conjoint controller, sliding board, and synergetic controllers. And then we uh, approximate this model uh, to the parameter and uh, simulate the results. This uh, uh, model is based on two scenarios, hybrid therapy with synergetic control for tumor cells killers, uh, killer and SMC for immune cells booster. Uh, in this uh, first scenario, uh, you will see that synergetic control is just used for tumor cells killer, while SMC is used to boost the immune cells. And scenario uh, two is based on uh, hybrid therapy with uh, synergetic control for tumor cells and SMC is used to uh, boost the both uh, cells like oh, immune cells and normal cells. Here you can see that uh, the scenario 1A uh, in which only immune cells uh, are boosted with the help of uh, uh, with the help of a sliding board controller uh, with fixed uh, chemotherapy and 1B is based on uh, boosting the uh, immune cells uh, with the help of sliding board controller uh, along with uh, exponential chemotherapy and the effect of synergetic controller uh, on uh, tumor cells is very good because uh, synergetic control kills the tumor cells uh, around 5 to 6 days. Uh, in the second uh, scenario, you can see that the scenario 2A uh, uh, linear and a slow uh, uh, enhancement of uh, immune cells are observed uh, with the help of sliding board controller. But in scenario 2B, immune cells are uh, enhanced very uh, rapidly. So the scenario 2B is very good in the uh, sense that. Uh, uh, both type of normal cells and immune cells are boosted with the help of sliding board controller and synergetic controller uh, used just to kill the tumor cells. So we now uh, come to the comparative analysis. Uh, comparative analysis is based on uh, uh, two steps. First, uh, the proposed treatment methods, uh, effect of proposed treatment methods on normal cells, tumor cells and immune cells. Uh, then we discuss uh, the to our proposed work, our proposed best work with existing methods. So in the first graph, uh, you can see that our, all proposed scenarios are discussed uh, without chemotherapy, fixed chemotherapy, experiential chemotherapy, fixed chemotherapy with SMC as tumor cells kill, killer, fixed chemotherapy, experiential chemotherapy with SMC as uh, tumor cells killer, and uh, uh, fixed and uh, uh, experiential chemotherapy along with its SMC and SC. Uh, you can see that the blue graph, uh, blue color graph, experiential chemotherapy with SMC as tumor cell killer and immune cell booster uh, are very good uh, in the sense of uh, normal cells uh, boosting. In the second uh, graph, uh, this is based on all proposed treatment methods for the elimination of uh, tumor cells and you can see that the uh, using synergetic controller uh, for the elimination of tumor cells give us a very good results and uh, a very fast result to kill the tumor cells just within uh, five days. In this graph, uh, all proposed techniques are uh, priced with uh, all proposed techniques 
compares are given uh, you can see that the blue graph at the uh, uh, red dotted uh, red do dotted graph uh, give us a very good result so the blue one is very best by using special chemotherapy with smc as tumor cells killers and immune cells booster so this is the basically the uh, uh, booster of immune cells using slide board control now these are the comparative uh, comparison graphs for uh, our proposed techniques uh, with existing techniques like continuous chemotherapy with direct collocation method uh, traditional pulse chemotherapy optimal control chemotherapy uh, optimal control with multi objective swab smc as an optimal control along with experimental chemotherapy sc as an optimal controller for tumor cells elimination and you can see that the blue graph smc as an optimal control along with experimental chemotherapy gives us a very good result in the next graph uh, the tumor cells uh, genetic controller gives us a very good result of, uh, in the case of tumor cells elimination uh, from the existing techniques and in the last graph uh, as a very optimal result uh, in the boosting of immune cells uh, in conclusion uh, we solve our model based on couple differential equation and approximate the model using genetic algorithm which is a heuristic algorithm te technique for the tuning uh, of uh, bsp uh, busted polynomial coefficients uh, we apply slide board and strategic control for designing an effective treatment protocol uh, successfully eliminates tumor cells while maintaining a patient healthy uh, state normal cells and immune cells boosting by smc offers viability of a treatment the strategic control kills the tumor cells rapidly as compared to smc on fixed dose only strategic control gives optimal results on all types so the future we should explore optimal controls for the desire of for effective treatment diseases could explore the optimal solutions for the models combined uh, different optimized hybrid therapy uh, now i move uh, to the uh, question uh, i'll try to answer